Let me start recording right now. Yay. What's up? This is Dave. It's snack Hi. time. And what was that? Was that a voice? Hi. Oh my Hi. god! There's a, there's a person here! I'm here inside your head. I shall introduce myself. I am T.T. Snim, also Steph. And I am the leader of the Diamond Denizens, and I am a crafty girl, and there's a whole YouTube thing, and there will probably be a link to it. I don't know how your system works. No. Through my system, there are links. Well, today, we will be consuming a special mm. snack for the holidays. You know how they have, like, hot cocoa? Well, Yummy! It's, like, We're cold, and we want it to be different, so we're drinking, we're drinking cold Cocoa. Well, not cocoa. Chocolate milk. I have cold Ovaltine. I yeah. could have microwaved it. The microwave is literally right there, but I didn't. Yeah, because it would have been warm. They would have like put you to sleep like warm milk, like babies. Mmm. Well, well, she has, well, she has name brand. I have great value. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Go Walmart! I hope everybody survived Black Friday at Walmart. I actually got this at Black Friday. It was a really... Tough buy. I'm gonna open it right now. See, that's I'm not gonna, opening it. I'm gonna sip my. You can hear all my slurpy action because my microphone is pretty much inside my mouth at this point. Wow. So while I'm opening mine, you can uh, go ahead and take a sip. Tell us how Ovaltine it is. Do we really need more Ovaltine? Please? We need all the Ovaltine in the world. Only this Ovaltine is not in real milk because I'm allergic to dairy. So I have like almond milk, which is delicious and doesn't aggravate my allergies like soy or dairy would. But this accidentally got frozen a couple times because my refrigerator is ridiculous. And um, so it has like little white almondy chunks in it, which are bad, but it's just a little different. So it's like a snack in a snack. It really is. It's not bad after you've accidentally frozen it twice and then had to thaw it and then forgot you were thawing it and put it back in the fridge and it froze again. So it's very rewarding to finally be able to sit here and drink my victory. So, you can go first. Ladies first. Go for it. It's delicious. In a chocolatey, gritty, sort of brown-white way. Uh, it's that delicious it in a gritty. You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, uh, I think delicious, I don't think gritty. I think, you know, it's... Gritty, There's you didn't think plenty on. of delicious gritty things, like like the the grit on the at the bottom of a chip bag when you when you've gone when you've eaten grit. what? It's just like concrete and gravel grit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just like I secretly you know I want to be that bird that just has like that little thing where you store the the craw where you store like little pebbles and you can just swallow food whole and then grind it inside. You don't even have to chew. Yeah. yeah. That sounds kind of painful. Probably, since we're humans and we're not built like that. God did not make us to swallow little rocks. Although occasionally, if you're a very young child and you have siblings, it just it seems to happen sometimes. <laughs> not willingly, mind you. Well, so how is your chocolatey Well, goodness? she's drinking um, halfway homemade because she like put it in the almond milk. I'm going to drink completely store-bought Black Friday edition. Great value. <laughs> Chocolate milk. I actually bought this on Black Friday. Mmm, Black Friday goodness. Full of consumerism and tears. Man. Wow, that was going really quick. <laughs> so, it's kind of like this creamy, syrupy value taste. It's kind of like, uh, it's like the chocolate milk you get from lunch, school, from lunch when you're in school. Oh. And then, and those then, tended to be frozen for me, too. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a bittersweet experience, because it's like, you're like, mmm, chocolate milk, but then you, like, get the flashback of, like, oh, school. <laughs> yeah. And finding bones in your chicken and gravy. Oh, that's never... It's, it's... Nah, our school was not the best with but food. It's, but it's that grit, though. It's that, 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 grit. Mm, that grit. It's like that, that bone grit. That, that cleansing, gritty deliciousness. <laughs> it cleanses the inside with... That's... Oops, I knocked it over. But it's okay because it was empty. It was in a tiny bottle and it was empty. Chocolate you just down that. You just down that. I have like a whole half a cup of gritty Ovaltine goodness. You didn't even drink all of it. You got to drink all of it. I'm trying. It's very, very gritty. 
You should stir it up enough, then. I did stir it. It's, okay, it's not that gritty. It's just kind of silky at this point, which is still good. I actually have a six-pack of these, and I might consume them all. Except I'll you're, just, home. you're just gonna, you're just gonna chug them, you're just gonna slam them. Yeah, I'm, like, they're like, uh, coolers. They're like, uh, wine coolers, except they're milk. Uh, milk <laughs> coolers. Dude, it would probably, I don't know which would have the the worst effect. Like, I don't drink alcohol, but I also don't drink milk. So I don't know which would be worse for me at this point. <laughs> My stomach would be upset if I did either. So. Trucks. Alcohol, milk. Excuse me. There's the hiccup. So what and is, what, when you drink the milk, what does it make you think of? Like, anything. What does it make me think of? Hmm, let me see. Sand on a beach, and not in a bad way. I think that comes from a vacation, not just like, oh, this is gritty, so it's like sand. <laughs> but yeah, also, the like, first thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> but also, um, when I was little, well, or like five years ago when I lived at home, so not only when I was little, like my mom and I would sit down and drink Ovaltine together. And what she would like to do is she'd like to put a bunch of thick peanut butter on toast and sprinkle the Ovaltine on top, or make a thing of Ovaltine and eat the toast and drink it at the same time. Then it was kind of like a chocolatey, peanut buttery snack. Oh, so wait, you use the oval team for things other than just putting it in the milk? You can use it as like a flavoring sprinkle, so long as you're not just eating it dry, because that would be way too gritty. Hmm. These are ideas that I may have to incorporate. Attempt? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, you can... Like... Can. If you get like chocolate powder, like I have, I, I got out before I found the oval team. You're like, make some chocolate milk. I'm like, okay. So I got out some baker's chocolate powdered baker's chocolate to so use that for stuff. Um, actually, interesting fact about me I get migraines, and the only thing that really helps that isn't a drug of some kind uh, is dark chocolate, the bitter, nasty stuff will take care of my migraines. So I keep the powdered stuff on hand. And it's gross, so I usually mix it with honey. And I was just, I was looking, I was like, I really don't want to turn this into chocolate milk. I don't want to do it. Then I found the Ovaltine, and it was like the best discovery of the season. I was so happy. It's like, I have Ovaltine! Sweet. So then it's kind of like, mm -hmm. if you had to do it the other way, it would have been like my fault. I'm like, no! Hey, Dave, why should we it... do that? It would have been okay. I would have just, next time you invite me on a podcast about snacks, I would have picked it. And it would have been something very delicious and probably not what you were used to eating. Oh, like, I mean, that would have been cool. The only reason I picked chocolate milk was because, well, one, it was going to be one I was going to do. And then, yeah. two, it would have been something easy for you to acquire. Yeah, like right off the bat. Because, obviously, everybody has chocolate milk in the house. Which I oh. seem to have managed all over the place, and I didn't even know it. So you were right. You were totally, you, you had that one on the head. And how frequently do you put these up? Because I will be linking so that uh, the Diamond Denizens can hear this. So they know that if you have like a series, do you put this out once a week, twice a month? Every Wednesday. I try to put it out like Wednesday morning, but that's like right as soon as I have to go to work. So they sometimes end up Wednesday evening. But... That's fine. So long as they're a weekly schedule. I find that people like that. So I I didn't know about this until like yesterday, and now I have to go back and listen to all the snack casts. Yeah. Is that what they're, is that what they're called? Is a snack cast? That's the unofficial name for them. <laughs> snack cast. I think Capri Sun. Oh. Oh no, I thought you were talking about Sunny D, and I was going to have to stop you right there and go, uh-uh. Oh, well, I'll scratch that off. <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever you want. I'll just try and match what I have here. Let's, let's flashback. Oh, if you did Sunny D, nah, dog, <laughs> you not good no more. <laughs> oh, well, you, you, can, can, you can do it anyway. It's weird. You, you, can, can, you can drink it. You can drink it. I'll have regular orange juice. It's a free country. I, I could drink orange juice if I want to. You can drink it. I'll just completely disassociate myself from it. You can oh, drink man. Sunny D. You could drink it if you want. Friends. Yeah. Don't drink it, name a friend of mine. You can drink it, I'll just defriend you. It's okay. <laughs> defriend. That's such a weird thing to do on the internet. It's like defriending just because of a snack. Well, I don't think that should happen. That's serious business. 
<laughs> that's our serious business. There's this one time my dad had some juice, somebody drank it, and then he was rather upset for the rest of the day. But <laughs> I'm the same way. Don't come over the don't come over to the house, drink half the chocolate milk, and then be like, you know what, I really like it. You about to finish the whole thing. You're finishing <laughs> the whole bottle. <laughs> like you put your germs in it. You can't you not can't drink it now. You think I'm Don't. just gonna throw it away? That <laughs> look at the bottle. It says great value. It's a good value. It's so good. No, it's, it's a great, great value. It's a great, oh, value. It's a great value. It's amazing. So, it's Walmarty. It's Walmart. Uh, the American way, right there. The American way. It's chocolate milk. The American drink. From Walmart. From Walmart. We are not sponsored by Walmart, either of us. Actually, Walmart's paying me billions of dollars every second. So are yes, they? Yes, I'll be uh, sending uh, half of that to you whenever I get it. <laughs> well, you, you, you'll be spending it entirely on chocolate milk. Uh, I think I'm just going to buy, blow my life savings on chocolate milk now. <laughs> just like, you could... You drink it all, and then you'll build a house out of the bottles. I'm building, that, you... that is right. I'm building not only a house, but a car. <laughs> I'm building my establishment, my business establishment, out of chocolate milk bottles. It'll sure. be it'll be very deliciously amazing. It'll be and it'll it'll just it'll be a great value house. It'll be a it'll be a house for a great value. You're right. It'll be a fantastic value house. It'll be even better than great. Yes. <laughs> It'd be the ultimate value. I live in chocolate milk bottles. The problem is, it's going to always smell like milk chocolate unless you really clean them out good. So you'll be laying there at night going, I really want some milk chocolate, but I drank it all, and then I built the house. And then, so you don't, you don't have this problem if you go with, like, orange juice. It just dries out. It smell like oranges. It doesn't smell like... I guess it'd like, be like a perfume, like a dried orange. Yeah. Toss a little allspice up in that. Yeah. It smells very special and holiday-ish. You smell like oranges today. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Again, how do you accomplish this? <laughs> well, little do you know. Juice house. <laughs> and my car is made of Sunny D containers. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, oh, don't forget Tang. Tang! Tang to the tang, tang, tang! I was addicted to that as a teenager. That was my drink of choice. Oh no, I have friends that say that's for kids only. Those people need to be taken out in the street and beaten with shoelaces. Thank you! Yes! A, a, a believer! Tang is real! Tang! Believe in the tang! That's, that's our next podcast. If I'm on with you, it has to be Tang. We'll go out and buy Tang. I will find the Tang. We must buy Tang. I'll you, bet it's a Walmart. You really have no idea how many people laughed at me when I had Tang one day. I, I have, know. sitting in my kitchen, a way up, and on display, is a legitimate Tang pitcher. <laughs> for mixing and putting the Tang you in and serving the Tang dishes in your house. I do. It says Tang on the side. I'll see if I can't get a picture of it, post it somewhere. This, this, I, mean, this, I don't want to get stuck on drinks, but holy hams. <laughs> Tang. It's December. It's the month of holiday drinking. That came out wrong, but you know what I mean. It is the holiday drinking. You know what? It's the month of holiday drinking. This is the first podcast of December. Chocolate milk. Second one. Tang. Tang. The third one, I don't know. We'll wing it. I was gonna do cookies for the third one, but that kind of breaks the spirit. Of... But you could have cookies and milk. And milk is the preferred drink to cookie dipping. It smells like cookies with a frosting on top. Of I'll dip. Uh, if it's a cookie, I'll dip it. I don't care. I'll even make home baked cookies for that. I could bake them and send them to you. I've sent cookies to Ohio. Packed well. What mm. much tasty. That would be so appreciated. <laughs> the chocolate chip, and then there was mint chocolate chip, and then there was... Um, dark chocolate with cherry chips. Those are pretty good, actually. Kind of hard to make, but kind of not. Do you like nuts in your cookies? No. No. Okay. Nobody likes nuts in their cookies but me. Uh, must be because I'm nuts. 
Yes. Yes. You walk into it, so I'm going to agree. <laughs> Set it up for myself and just fell into my own trap. Oh, yeah. But this is it. <laughs> that was it. This is Dave. This is Steph. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Brought to you by Great Value and Ovaltine. Oh, yeah. Uh, great Value. Oh, I'm holding it up in front of the mic like you can see it. Like, <laughs> I've been sipping mine in front of the mic like you can hear it. Hear that spoon? That's the sound of semi-homemade chocolate milk. You hear this? That's the sound of cheapness. <laughs> it's, even, it's even in a mug. Of, mine's in a mug with a little snowman. I'm going to take Christmas. a picture of it before you like, drink it all. <laughs> well, um, no. I'll show you the mug sometime. I'll just make more Ovaltine. Maybe even put marshmallows in it. Then I'll send you that picture. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, well, peace out. Bye, everybody!